Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to VFS Technical Analysis here. So I'm going to start this video by saying you should probably not get into this stock. And I'm going to go through a few reasons why. But um, first off, I want to go through their technicals. Uh, so uh, VinFast is a, it was a spec and they converted into VFS the ticker here. And right now it has garnered a lot of hype. So, uh, you know, I, I think a lot of internet communities have been talking about this stock. And you know how is the next tesla or you know how it's valued uh right next to tesla right it's second place to tesla right now and there is a absurd uh valuation i i, I just want to say it. i'll go through it but um right now the rsi is um bearish and the macd is also curling down uh this is the one week chart so um it just uh converted here so we are not getting a lot of data but let's zoom in a little bit further uh, four hour RSI right now is 35 and the MACD is also decaying towards the upside. So you might be looking at this and you might think, um, wow, that looks pretty good, right? And, you know, once we zoom in here, we're going to find that there is no, uh, buyers in the markets. Oh, well, the more accurate thing to say is that there are more sellers here than there are buyers. Now, one thing about this stock is that, uh, one person, I think it's the CEO of the company. Um, I might be wrong there. He holds 50% of the uh, VFS float here. So he, hold, he holds basically half of the shares outstanding here. And, you know, that puts a, a lot of risk into this stock because, um, you know, he could sell that off. But uh, I just want to say um, it's not possible for him to sell off everything because that would require um investors to buy 50 percent of the float of uh, vfs or at least you know some parts of it right and you know i i i don't want you guys to become uh you know liquidity providers or exit liquidity in this case for you know whoever is holding 50 percent of the float here so um once again uh one hour rsi there are less buyers than sellers here um rsi is down to 31 but as you can see it is still possible for the stock to go down even though the rsi signals a oversold territory so uh, i i do think vfs right now is probably headed to uh, more downside here unless something changes really drastically i don't know i i, I really don't see it I, I i first off you know don't invest in this stock i said it twice already um uh, so you know we're gonna go through some of their numbers here so uh they made about 700 million dollars in uh 2022 and they are you know valued at 139 billion dollars that is insane okay let's look at tesla where is tesla right now value at uh 777 billion and they had uh 100 billion dollars in revenue so they are putting uh, a $700 million uh, uh, company it, well, in revenues next to a uh, $80 billion company uh, based on revenues. And that's just not, not right, right? Something is wrong with the economic factors here. Um, you know, a lot of people are saying this shouldn't happen. And, you know, I, I, I kind of agree with that. This is going to be a trap for a lot of people here. I'm not sure how many people are actually investing in this, but... I would be, you know, shitting my pants and I will probably not wear pants for the next three months, right? If I was in this company. Uh, well, I mean, if you're in it for the trade, um, I, I do, I am a trader and you, you know, you can definitely get some trades out of this. Um, if you are looking at your know, other specs just as a comparison, let's look at space here. So space actually had a very good run for quite a long time here. And the reason for that was because they uh, converted when money was basically free, right? So um, at that point, it was very easy to get funding and people were just pouring money all the way, uh, you know, down the drain uh, with Virgin Galactic here. And they had a couple, you know, missed timings um, with the flights. Uh, I, I think they had a couple uh, delays here. And right now, I think they are also suffering from a demand problem. Um, and, you know, I personally, I just really don't think this uh, Virgin Galactic company is safe to, uh, uh, you know, fly um, because it's basically a tube 
uh, you know, in space and they put gliders on it, which um, gliders don't work in space. Um, I'm not sure if you know that, but I, I'm not sure Richard Branson knows that. So, you know, right now, uh, Virgin Galactic, the uh, price of Virgin Galactic is below the spec price. So it is possible for VinFast to do the same thing. Now, obviously, VinFast does have, uh, uh, you know, a, a actual product here. But we're we're gonna be going through that product shortly, and you know they only sold a hundred cars in U United States, and that is really really not a lot, right? So let's look at Vinfast electric car here. Um, it looks like they are more into the uh, SUV sector, uh, and they are you know the only product with price here is uh eighty three thousand dollars. Now this is a very very high price for an EV. Um. If you're looking at Tesla right now, their highest uh, model, uh, uh, the highest cost is about $86,000. And this is their model as planned. And you know, the value you get for this compared to a $83,000 VinFast car is just out of the world. I, I, I mean, why would you ever choose a, a Model S? Or why would you ever choose a VinFast car over a Model S? I don't understand here. So, uh, Maybe someone else knows. I'm not exactly a car fanatic, but there's just no way that you would choose a VinFast car uh, instead of a Tesla. Uh, maybe you need uh, an SUV really badly, or, or may maybe you need, I don't know, um, a, a beta car or something. I have no idea, but there's no way in hell that anyone is going to buy uh, VinFast as compared to the other EV manufacturers. And I'm just comparing it to Tesla because they are priced next to Tesla. And I, I just don't see why that is the case. And I, I really don't think this should be happening. So, uh, you know, just my thoughts here. Um, if VinFast ever does go back to $90, which there is, I would say a, a I don't know, 1% possibility, right? There would be a double top here. And in theory, that would bounce back down uh, below uh, $90. So with that being said, don't get into this stock. Uh, I'm going to say it again, don't, just don't. Just don't get into this stock if you are, if you are trying to invest here. Um, if you are trying to trade, sure, go ahead um, and, and try. You might get quite a lot of profits here. I, I know the market is pretty stupid and um, you it is possible for you to get some profits, but you ca you are going to be risking so much here that I personally am not comfortable with that. So with that being said, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, have a you know safe market day out there by just not, not looking at this stock and uh, like and subscribe guys.